Okay, I thought I would uh, do a short video here of a radio that I've recently bought. It's a Maxon CM70 uh, CB radio, uh, which I've converted to 10 meters for FM. The story of this radio uh, is that my son had been experimenting a bit on 10 FM and um, it got me thinking that maybe it'd be nice to have a radio that I could use uh, to monitor 29.6 without having the HF rig on, especially in the summer. So I noticed that uh, Knight's CB had these on sale. They used to be about 80 or 90 quid and they've been discontinued uh, selling them for 50 quid. So ordered one up and uh, when it arrived, uh, there's instructions that you can get online for converting it to 10 metres. Uh, you take out two of the links, it's option 3, option 6, which is on the back of the board, so under the top cover. Um, when I turned it on and went through the country setup, it actually already had the PO and RU bands there. Now they're, they go from 25 to about 30.5 uh, megahertz. Um, and that's what you're enabling by putting the uh, by removing the two links, but they were already functioning. What I discovered though was they wouldn't transmit. So when I opened it up, it turned out that uh, OPT6 was not uh, bridged, but OPT3 was. So when I took that out, uh, the radio transmitted uh, right across. So the interesting thing is that you can switch between bands. Um, when you switch it on, you can interrupt the startup process and you can change it to different country modes. So at the moment it's on uh, British CB, uh, it's on channel 19 UK, the UK 40 channels. If you press the AM FM button it goes to CE which um, is the European 40 channel so it has 80 channels in total. The AM FM button doesn't uh, bring AM up, it just uh, changes the frequency band. So uh, that's it working as a CB radio. Some of the functions that are on it, uh, it has memory channels, it has dual watch, but unfortunately the dual watch will not work across the two bands. So you can't monitor 19 UK and 19 uh, European channels. It's just not possible to do that. It's got memories. Uh, the touch keys here are actually touch sensitive. Um, they look a bit like the membrane switches you used to get on some of the old Philips radios. The, obviously, Maxon make uh, PMR radios, and I'm pretty certain that some of this stuff is shared between them. Um, I'm not particularly keen on that, uh, because you don't really know whether you're pressing it properly. The mode switch here uh, is quite interesting. It takes you through various options. Uh, automatic squelch, uh, squelch level. This is a problem. The squelch is hidden in here, and then you have to adjust it by using the uh, these these controls here. So it's not a great idea, really. It's intended for using on auto squelch the whole time. I think uh, that's beep. That's if you had that on, you'd get a beep every time you pressed a button. That's uh, background lighting, which you can change. You can make it brighter or lower. Yeah, so there's various things in here. Um, it says UK there, of course, at the moment, because it's on UK bands. But uh, what I'll do is I'll just restart it into um, what you would call export mode. It's really PO mode. The RU mode um, gives you 10 kilohertz channels with steps that end in 005 or 5 kilohertz. On 10 meters, you really want them on the 0, 10, 20, 30, 40 kilohertz. So that's uh, the PO band, which I think stands for Poland, but it's not the official uh, Poland. So I'll just turn it off. It's it powering down. And now I can select the bands. So that's C E S P F R and that's PO and now you can see that the display has changed <laughs> because last time I had this on this mode I had the 
a frequency counter on. You can switch between channels and frequency counter by pressing the mode button and holding it down. And what you see there is PO, which is the mode that it's on, the country mode. It's on channel 35 on band I. And as you go up and down the channels, uh, let's go up, it should go up to 40 and then it goes down to band L on channel 1. So it's a bit like uh, an old fashioned CB radio with a big switch that gives you the different bands. Um, obviously for our purposes what we want is a uh, frequency counter and you can see that that's 29.54, 29.6 megahertz and it is transmitting on there. So, uh, no problem at all. It has a function called ESP and what ESP does is, is it, it's supposed to be a speech processor. It's more like a compander. Um, you can't realistically use that because you would need another radio that also had it. If you try and run it uh, on receive with just an ordinary incoming signal, it just sounds loud and rough. And that's another issue with this radio is that the lowest uh, volume setting on it is actually quite loud. <laughs> so uh, it's not without its problems, but for £50 it's very difficult to uh, pass this one up really because it, it does 10 metres, it does CB, and as you can see it held the settings. When I went from the CB mode to the 10 meter mode, it went to the frequency counter automatically and it had held the original frequency uh, that it was on, which was 29.6. Um, it also scans, of course. The problem with the scan function in this PO mode is that it's going to scan everything from 25 megahertz to 30 and a half. So it really is not of much use. Uh, or maybe it won't. Actually, I'll just test that. Maybe it's only going to do the one band. No, see it's going away up there. See it's gone right up through 30 megahertz. Uh, this is not what we want. Um, it's now working its way through the whole <laughs> 26, whatever. I'll just leave it running because it might pick something up, although it's not on the right steps to pick up anything on the CB, I don't think. It might pick up something on UK frequencies. No, it didn't. So that basically um, is the radio. I'm not sure there's much else to say about it, but uh, very good value for money. I've tested it, it's putting out 4 watts on um, 27 megahertz on the CB bands. Uh, it's putting out a little bit less, about 3.5 up on 29 megs, but um, that's not to be complained about really. Um, it's working well and um, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Now, there's still a few of these around, a few online dealers have got them for sale. Knights have them, £50 plus carriage. It's £7.50 carriage I think, but the £7.50 um, you could get all sorts of things delivered for that. So you could buy aerials and brackets and all sorts of things, they wouldn't charge you anything extra. So um, that's it, the Maxon CM70.